Hey everybody, welcome back to Sparks Fire and Bailing Wire. Today we're going to work on getting the steering box put back together. This is one thing I probably spent more time than anything else on this tractor, trying to clean it up. It was full of 250 weight oil, which I didn't even know there was such a thing. It's nasty, nasty stuff. I finally got it all cleaned out, got all the gunk scraped off, it's ready to start going back together. Get this new bearing put in the housing first. Follow that up by the seal. This piece that the steering goes on can actually go on there next. I put a little grease around the lip of the seal before I Push that in there so it doesn't tear it. This can go on next. Press that on there. No press, no problem. This big woodruff key can go in the shaft. And then the steering gear will go on that. That I think is going to have to be heated up. I had to heat it up to get it off. I'll let that shrink back on there. I'll let this cool down and go ahead and put it in the housing. One of these bolts has a copper washer on it instead of a regular lock washer because this one's a true hole. Make sure that one goes there. I'll get those tightened down. This is the same front end that it's used on the tricycle type front with just a single front wheel. The tricycle one's the entire pedestal for the front wheel bolts right on here on these five bolts. Since this is a wide front, it just uses this bracket that the two tie rods hook to. It's just held in place with two bolts. It's a pretty heavy duty unit for a wide front end tractor. Now I can go ahead and put the top bearing in. I'm reusing this bearing because it was still in good shape yet. I mean this thing's way heavy duty. You'll never wear these bearings out. The only reason I replaced the other one is because I had to cut it to get get it off so I could get the seal off. Out the bearings on, there's a stack of shim washers in here. Sets the gap on the bearings. Since I replaced the bottom bearing, I'm probably going to have to double check that to make sure it's the right amount of shims in there. So 
So I'll go ahead and snug these up and then check and see what kind of end play I have there. There are the indicators zeroed out. Looks like we got two thousandths there. I can't find in the manual what it's supposed to be, but I would assume that's pretty good. Now that I know I'm good there, i go ahead and get this greased up good. Now that that's full of grease, I'm go ahead and put the cap back on. That's pretty much just like a dust cap on a wheel hub. Yeah, grease coming through all the bearings good. So now it's time to put in the worm shaft for the steering gear. I already pre-greased both bearings and the worm itself. Okay, now that cap's on. This has shims in it too, just like the other part. You'd set the preload on the bearing. But since I never changed those bearings, I'm going to assume that it's alright and leave it. I'll go ahead and bolt this down. This bolt I'll leave loose for the time being because there's another bracket that goes on here. The shaft where the hand crank starter goes right through the steering box too and this bracket's held in place by that bolt. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Get the steering box on now. I don't know what this thing weighs but it is heavy. Yeah. 